The earliest Jewish people here came in the early 1900s. In those days, there was not a lot of wealth. And if you didn't help each other, there was nowhere to turn. And uh, they started to build a community. So in 1934, a group of people got together, six people, and by 1936, they formed a society. In the 30s and the 40s, it was about people who were hungry, the lack of jobs. When the war was over, it was about helping refugees. In the 60s, Jewish Family Service realized that it wasn't all about welfare. So youth workers were hired. Then there were job finding programs. As the needs grew, the community became more involved. Seventy fifth, they like me. At different times in anybody's life, people find themselves needing help. But what JFSA does is they find the people who are vulnerable, who need your help, and may need counseling, or may need resettlement, or may need employment assistance, or something to get a leg up. Everybody who finds himself needing to come here has something difficult that's going on in their lives, but we try and make sure that their experiences are a little less difficult than they are. The main help that we provide is our food programs. So um, just to get ready for our clients today, we have um, some organic jams. We have regular clients every two weeks. We don't know them by name, but we do give them a smile and a good day or a good yontif, depending. A little weak on the onions today, but we usually give more or less depending on what we are supplied with. Today we got salad and coleslaw, which we don't usually have. The success story is when we stop seeing the client. They've gotten on their feet, they get a job, and they don't have to come to the food bank anymore. I came in Vancouver in 1996, and where can I have friends from JFSA? We run a lunch program. They're for a lot of seniors, this is the only thing on their calendar. When I came here, they were like my sisters and brothers. Now I'm not in good condition because I fell down a couple times and broken one shoulder and second shoulder. So, I, like usual, I came to JFSA and asked them for help. So JFSA sent to me Oksana. She understands me very well and she speaks Russian. And now she is not like Walker. Now she is like my daughter or like my friend. She is the best for me. <laughs> Yeah, when we are young. <laughs> it's very difficult for someone to leave their identity behind and come in here and have to re-establish themselves. I came to Canada in 1994. When I came here, I didn't have anybody like relatives or friends. I came to JFSA. I had a meeting with the counselor and the end of the, our conversation, she gave me a big basket with fruits and crackers and cheese. And I couldn't understand why. I said, no, I am a Jewish. She said, yeah, but even because you are Jewish, that's why I would like to give it to you. I, I went home and I just cried all my way with this basket and I couldn't understand why that. It's the first time in my life because I'm a Jew, something, something good for me. When I came to Canada, um, I thought to myself, well, within a month, I'm going to be employed again. And then I realized it's not that uh, easy. I wanted to ask everybody how they got their last job. It's very isolating and depressing to be out of work. And it affects people's confidence and really their whole lives. My first six months in Canada were really frustrating. I couldn't find a job, I couldn't get a job. We say how it looks in a diagram would be, no, 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 yes. We help to create those opportunities, those job leads. We help them find work. I got to the employment services of the JFSA, and here they found for me my first uh, employment in Canada. Hey. 
שולי בן משה. Now I've been doing the seminar for uh, newcomers about the taxes, the tax system in Canada, in Hebrew. I do that as volunteer and for giving back to the GFSI for what they gave me. And it is part of a big cycle. And at times when we're doing well, we help others and sometimes we need help. You, you shouldn't feel shameful about asking for help because in the past you helped other people and so now it's your turn. My life got very, very, very bad. I was confused. I was terribly depressed. Medication wasn't working for me. And one evening, I decided I couldn't go any further and I tried to commit suicide. We're in the business of providing hope for clients who are feeling very despondent or very despairing or very resigned that things are never going to be any different. It was recommended to me to go to Jewish Family Services. They had counselors who could work with me and with the help of little cards. I'm lovable just as I am. I became better and better. Part of what is very special and important and actually quite essential about the services we provide here is that uh, we constantly look to see where there might be some gaps that we can fill in the community. Recently, um, the special needs department has really helped our family. This mother was certain that her child uh, had autism or some variation of it. But when coming to professionals, they just, because she was older, they just pushed it aside. It was like running up against a brick wall. I didn't know where to go anymore. I was able to connect her to the right professionals and she did get the diagnosis that confirmed and affirmed everything she thought. When I ran out of steam, I, I came and I wished I would have come a lot earlier because it, this department was like the missing link for me. And um, I can't express enough gratitude for that. What's really important is that we are trying to meet people's very basic needs. And in order to do that, we need support from the community. It's very challenging when we have run out of funds. People call us up and they say they're hungry and they've got no food for their kids. And we've said we don't have any money to help them. So that's very challenging. It's very painful to have to do that. You know, when you have nothing, a little bit is a lot. When you have a lot, a little bit is nothing. For me, the name of this organization, the Jewish Family Service Agency, for me it's not a name. When you ask me about meaningful, for me it's a family. Thank you very much for your help. <laughs>